we are going to discuss about the maximum power transfer theorem. So, according to the maximum power transfer theorem, the maximum power is delivered from the source to the load resistance when the load impedance or the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. Okay, that is when load impedance is equal to the source impedance maximum power transfer is taking place this is the theory okay so the maximum power transfer from the source to the load is happening when the load impedance is equal to the source impedance this is called maximum power transfer theorem okay so this theorem we generally use for finding the value of an unknown load resistance so we assume that or we consider the maximum power transfer case and in that case for finding the unknown load impedance or load resistance value we use this theorem okay so we'll take this condition that when the maximum power transfer is taking place this load impedance will be equal to the source impedance and hence we find the value of the load impedance okay so for finding the load impedance what we generally do here is first we find the current in the circuit so if you take the current as i current i will be equal to voltage by resistance right so voltage is vs by total resistances these two resistors are connected in c so rs plus rl so this will be the value of current right now what will be the equation of power delivered to the load resistance power delivered to rl the equation will be p is equal to so the equation for the power delivered to the load resistance is p is equal to i square rl we substitute the value of i here so this is 1 let this be 2 and if you put the value of 1 in 2 you will be getting power p is equal to vs by rs plus rl the whole square into rl okay so this is the value of power that we are getting now in order to find the value of rl what we do here is we differentiate this power with respect to rl and when then we equate it to zero okay so next we are going to do is we are going to differentiate that is we are going to take dp by drl and then we will equate that is equal to zero so this thing we are going to do to find the value of the unknown load resistance okay so dp by drl will be equal to d by drl of this term that will be vs square rl by rs plus rl the whole square okay so this is the term which we are using to differentiate so d this is p by drl okay so if you calculate d by drl of this term you will be getting vs i will write it here dp by d rl you are getting as vs square into rs plus rs plus rl the whole square minus 2 vs square rl into rs plus rl by rs plus rl the whole raised to 4 okay that is if you are going to differentiate this term with respect to rl you will be getting vs square into rs plus rl the whole square minus 2 vs square rl into rs plus rl by rs plus rl the whole raised to 4 okay and we have to equate this to 0 right so that is our condition so 
dp by drl is equal to 0. So, you will be getting equating this term equal to 0. So, this term, this denominator will get cancelled equal to if you cross multiply with 0 this denominator will get cancelled and the numerator v s square into r s plus r l the whole square minus 2 v s square r l into r s plus r l equal to 0. v s square and v s square will get cancelled this r s plus r l and this square will get cancelled. So, you will be getting r s plus R L is equal to 2 R L or you can write R S is equal to 2 R L minus R L that is R S is equal to R L. So you are getting when you are differentiating the term of power that is when you are differentiating the equation for power with respect to R L and when you are equating that to 0 you will be getting the value of source resistance is equal to load resistance okay so this is the condition for maximum power transfer and in order to find the value of unknown resistance we generally do this process that is we calculate the power or we write an equation for power and then we differentiate that equation with respect to rl and then we equate it to zero that is dp by drl we take it and we will equate that to zero and then we will be getting a condition like this okay so this is why we are actually taking the case that when the maximum power transfer is taking place, the load impedance will be equal to the source impedance. Okay. So, next we are going to do some numerical questions from the maximum power transfer theorem. In that, we will be uh, doing questions to find the maximum power and also we will be doing questions to find the value of load impedance or load resistance. Question from maximum power transfer theorem is this. Determine the value of load resistance. In the question, you can see there is an RL. You need to find what is RL. When load draws maximum power. So, this condition is given in the question. It is given that the load is drawing off maximum power. And you need to find the load resistance and also find maximum power. So, both the things you need to find. You need to find what is the RL value and also what is the maximum power value. Okay. So, first we are going to find the RL value. So, according to the maximum power transfer theorem, we know that when load is drawing the maximum power means the load resistance will be equal to the source resistance. So, RS is equal to RL or RL equal to RS will be equal to dash it will be 25 ohm because RS is already given here. So, it is 25 ohm. Okay. And next we need to find the power. So, first session of the question we have already completed. Then we need to find the power. So, for finding the power, first we will calculate the current value. I is equal to Vs by Rs plus Rl, right? So, that will be equal to 50 by 25 plus 25, that is 50 by 50 equal to 1 ampere will be the current. Now, power P equal to I square Rl, that is 1 square into 25, which is equal to 25 watts. Okay, very simple. So, this question is actually very simple because there is no other elements connected along with RS or RL. But in some other questions, there will be some other all elements like inductance or capacitance connected along with this either RS or RL. So, in that case, case you have to find the total impedance and then you have to apply this condition. Okay. So, here the answer is RL value is 25 ohm and power is 25 watts okay next let us do another question find the value of maximum power in this circuit okay and also you need to find what is the value of rl first let us find what is rl so for finding the value of rl the equation you have to use here is you can see clearly that this this circuit is not just having resistances but it is also having inductors and capacitors okay that is inductor is there and a capacitor is there along with the resistors that is series and load resistor so for finding the equation of rl you have to use this equation rl equal to rs square plus xs plus xl the whole square okay so you have to substitute the value of rs here which is 10 xs you have to substitute as 10 ohm and xl you have to substitute as 
minus 5. Okay. So, you only have to take the values. You don't have to take the j. Okay. So, square root of, you will be getting 10 square plus 10 minus 15 the whole square. Okay. That is, you will be getting 5 root 5 as a value. 5 root 5 ohm will be the value of RL that you are getting. Okay, so once you are getting RL, only the thing is you need to find the power. And for finding the power, first you have to find the current in the circuit. Okay, so next step is to find the current in the circuit. So what was the first step we have done here is we have done the or we have calculated the value for the load resistance. And the load resistance is calculated using this equation since it is having inductors and capacitor. There is a complex equation you have to use. That is, you have to find the load resistance by taking the impedances, okay. That is, here there is a reactance of inductance, here there is a reactance of capacitance. So, that two terms also you have to use, okay. And you will be getting the value as RL equal to 5 root 5 ohm. Next thing we need to find the value of current. Current I is equal to, you can write the equation like this. So, just note that RL is equal to phi root phi ohm okay next is we need to find the current value and current i equal to we know the equation is vs the voltage by rs plus rl so this is a simple equation but here you have to take all the elements so it will be if you substitute the values you will be getting vs is 100 angle 0 degree okay so this is given in the angular form then by rs plus rl so you have to substitute the values for all the elements so it will be vs that is 100 angle 0 degree by 10 that is this series resistance then plus j 10 minus j 15 plus 5 root 5 so this is the value that you have to substitute so you have to take all the elements you have to take this 10 ohm then j10 ohm for the inductance minus j15 ohm for the capacitance and also the rl value which you have already found that also you have to substitute and if you solve for this first you have to do the denominator and it will be 100 angle 0 degree that you can write as 100 itself since it is angle 0 it is 100 itself you can write then denominator you will be getting as 10 plus 5 root 5 10 plus 5 root 5 and minus 5j okay so you'll be getting 10 plus 5 root 5 minus 5j you have to simplify it and then you have to take the conjugate and multiply in the numerator and denominator and you'll be getting like this 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 5j here also 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 5j okay so this is the value or this is the way you have to calculate for that is when there is a complex term coming in the denominator you will take the conjugate and multiply with the numerator and denominator right so this is the step that you have to do and on solving you will get the value of i like this current i will be obtained as approximately 4.472 plus j 1.055 so, this is the value for your current that you are getting. And so, the next step also we have done. That is, we have obtained the value of current. And that also we will write here. I equal to 4.472 plus J 1.055. Okay. So, this is the value of current that you are getting. Next step is to find the power. That is actually our major role, right? That is the prime motive of doing all these things okay so next we are going to find the current for finding the current the equation is p equal to i square or you can take mod i square r so first you have to take the modulus of this term since it is a complex term you have to take the modulus okay so if you take the modulus of i you will be getting square root of take the square of the real term plus square of imaginary term that is the method right so, 4.472 square plus 1.055 square, right. 
and the modulus of i you will be getting as i equal to 4.59 okay and then you have to take the square so power p equal to 4.59 square into rl rl value is 5 root 5 okay and on solving it you will be getting the value of the maximum power and you will be getting the value as 236 volts approximately. Actually, you will be getting as 235 point something. And you can take it as power P equal to 236 volts. Okay. And this is how you do questions which is having elements like inductors and capacitors. Okay. So, this is the concept of maximum power transfer theorem. So, in this theorem, this is actually a very simple theorem. You just have to... Take into consideration that when the maximum power is getting transferred to the load resistance, the source resistance or source impedance is equal to the load impedance. And this approximation we take for calculating the value of load impedance and hence we find the maximum power value also. Okay. So this is all about the maximum power transfer theorem. I really hope that you understood the concept. This was actually a quick revision video. All the things I have included in a very brief manner okay so if you are preparing for network theory for any competitive examinations or for your semester exams i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up please do share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching